Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And here's a look at the stories making news on this Thursday night. A woman is caught on camera being rescued after nearly drowning on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Cell phone video shows the woman being pulled from the beach and onto a stretcher as paramedics work to save her life. Fire Rescue says the woman removed her life jacket before jumping into the water. When she didn't resurface, witnesses began to call 911. When a dive team arrived, they found the woman suffering from cardiac arrest. She was rushed to Holy Cross Hospital in critical condition. A North Miami Beach woman who attempted to end her life while leaving Leaving her three-year-old twins for dead is now facing neglect charges. 42-year-old Shirlene Alclean was arrested this afternoon after she left her twins in her car on I-95 and then jumped off the overpass earlier this month. Investigators say Alclean admitted to planning the murders of her children and her suicide attempt for two months due to financial debt. The cause of death of the twins is still unknown. Loved ones gathering to remember a mother who was killed while crossing the street with her eight-month-old child. 33-year-old Jacqueline Sabag was run over while walking outside of the crosswalk near Northeast 22nd Street and Biscayne Boulevard. A truck driver reportedly did not see Sabag before driving forward, pinning her beneath the vehicle. Police say it does not appear that the driver will be charged in this incident. Joe Carollo's house is going up for auction next month to help pay a multi-million dollar judgment against him. This week, the Miami City Commissioner filed an emergency motion asking a judge to stop the sale. Carollo is facing a $63 million judgment for violating the First Amendment rights of two Little Havana businessmen. Carollo says he has a right to keep his home under the state's homestead law. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always go to our website for more information, local10.com. Be safe out there and see you back tomorrow.